Hey folks, how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you how to set up two-tone hairstyles or bandana hairstyles for Lazy Bones new transformation mods. A lot of people might be confused on that, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It will require some manual editing, so let's get into it. So first, I'm going to find a transformation mod that I want. So let us look down for one I haven't messed around with. This one, for example. So if I go to bin, you all need libs universe tools, by the way. Libs universe master, you can just Google that, you'll get it. So EMB pack. All right, and it should open up. Here we go. You see now the way Lazy Bones, uh, her works now is I believe it targets the hum.bcs. So what you're seeing here is not your actual color of the Super Saiyan, but an actual template. Well, you see now, for the hairstyles, what you want to do is, you're going to want to modify one of these. Well, actually, you're going to modify all of them, but you're going to do the same tactic for each one. So what I'm going to do is drag it into GIMP, free Photoshop editing software. And it's going to load in. Alright, here we go. So say you have a bandana hairstyle. And here we go, hair pack 20. Uh, let's go to the Super Saiyan one. And we're going to open that up with another EMB pack. Here we go. And as you can see, that silver is the Super Saiyan form of my bandana. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag that in. Sometimes it does that. But if that happens, just hit Control Z to get rid of it again. And then drag it back in. And boom. See? So, here is the original Super Saiyan for uh, the her style with two colors. And I'm just going to select all of that right now. And Control C to copy this. Oops, wait, just make sure it's all done. There we go. Control C. Alright, and then I'm going to hit Control Z or Z, as you guys would say in America, to bring it back to this. And I'm going to paste this in here. Now, the position of this is important. So what you want to do is watch what I do. I'm going to count down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there you go. That is the spacing needed between these. So as you can see, I have just added in the headband color. And that is the dyt.emb edited. So then I'm going to go to File. Then Export. Yep. DDS4, yes, yes, yes. So select DDS this image. Let's take this one. I'm going to export here. Replace. Compression, you're going to want to put as BC3 forward slash DTX5. Okay. And then when I bring up the file, there you go. See, it's changed. Data003 is exactly the same, so you can just copy and paste that. So here we go. And there we go. Now, I suggest you manually edit the data002 just as I did, but to save time, if you can, I'm going to do it this way because I've already got the texture made in here. Not sure if it will mess with anything if I just switch them around like that, but just in case, there we go. <clears throat> anyway, so that is that hairstyle is the. The DYT.EMB is complete for this hairstyle. That is now a two-tone or headband hairstyle in in the game for his transformations. This EMB pack that, and that is it sorted. All right, this is how I do my character, my character Trizix hair. He has the orange headband at always times, so that's how it's done. That was 267, hers updated, and there we go. Now, also one more important note. So if I bring you back to this hairstyle, you want to use all these three files. These would be the correct hairstyles, so I would go 267, 267. This is the transformation for whatever hair slot this is. He has a guide in his transformations, I will show you that now. Read me. And here you go. See, he'll tell you what all these hairstyles mean. That was Super Kaioken, that is what I've edited. So there we go. And you want to just drag those into that, like that. 
and that would be them sorted. You do not use this file ever, except for what I just showed you all previously to manually edit with this GIMP. And that is it. And that is all that is needed. Thank you. Right now.